Not everyone is buying the argument that the so-called shale gas revolution will change all that much. Among them, Deborah Rogers. She's a former Wall Street analyst turned founder of Energy Policy Forum. Uh, we have now examined the production histories of over 65,000 shale oil and gas wells in the United States, virtually all of them, and um, they're declining far too rapidly, and the reserve estimates that industry gave us are vastly uh, overestimated. You've also used this uh, phrase, I, mean, I want to get it right, unsustainable bubble. What do you mean by that? They, um, they estimated the reserves of the wells, and because of rule changes at the SEC, they were able to go out and borrow monies based upon these estimated reserves. Unfortunately, the SEC did not require them to get independent third-party audits, which is very problematic for obvious reasons. We now know that the operators have overestimated these reserves by 100 percent minimum and as much as 4 to 500 percent in some plays. That means a tremendous amount of money has been borrowed and spent on a commodity that either doesn't exist or will never be commercially viable to extract. They just can't make it work. The wells decline too rapidly. Okay, so if, if, if I'm to take what you're saying and deduce something from that, uh, this isn't going to work. We know that coal's not very effective. Uh, nuclear has its disadvantages. So if I'm sitting at home watching this, um, is there any hope out there in terms of energy? Oh, of course there is. I mean, you can utilize shale gas, but to think that shale gas is a panacea for all our energy woes is just naive to the extreme. What we ought to be doing with shale gas is utilizing it as a transition fuel as we build up bigger and bigger um, um, reserves of wind and solar, or, or rather power plants for wind and solar. Um, it's just not going to provide our energy needs. The wells deplete so rapidly that you have to enter into this frenzy of drilling to try and keep production just stable. Forget about growing it, just keep it stable. And they have not been able to do that in any shale play to date for any meaningful period of time. So there's no reason to assume that they're going to figure it out anytime in the near future. But Deborah, you know that uh, wind and solar are intermittent. It's not always sunny, it's not always windy. Um, you do need a, a, a source, though, for energy that you can count on and rely on. You don't see this as one. Sure, no, but that's precisely where shale gas would fit into that picture. Um, you would bring shale gas or, or natural gas, let's just say natural gas, online when you have these intermittent um, power shortages from wind or solar. That's how it ought to be used, in, in my opinion. Deborah Rogers, founder of Energy Policy Forum, joining us from Baltimore. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.